as a military historian, where do you think Spike's books sit in that in that field? And, and do we take them with enough seriousness in terms of what they tell us about the battle? Peter? I read Spike's books when they first came out. Um, and I read them for the humour. Uh, and um, I've reread them several times since from a historical point of view. And they stack up incredibly well as military history. So when I was writing my book about the Battle of Monte Cassino, uh, I quoted uh, or cited Spike's uh, wounding and that particular part of his war. So I think if we're looking at this objectively in a military sense, um, he has a very valid voice and it's important to, to listen to it.